all right. Been fucking forever, but we're back. We're back right here. This is a shitty ass game that doesn't know what the fuck history is. So, fuck, let's just get into it. We got, uh, uh, oh, so many missions left, but you know. Duh. There we go. <clears throat> oh yeah. The rest of you on me. By the way, I will be limiting these videos down to 20 minutes instead of like almost a fucking hour. Why are we not following the rest of the guys? Time got your hands dirty. After you. Oh, so that was super fucking cringe. Is this thing missing the end of the weapon? Yo, motherfucker. Through the fucking famine heifer. I can take that for you. I'm a fast learner. Go. A lot no, no, he did not just fucking do that. <clears throat> no, for the intended purposes of a fucking famine heifer. I mean, yeah, there was a scope design for the MP44, but it wasn't fucking LED bullshittery. Intended purpose for a vomit vefa! Again, they're using MG forty fucking twos. <clears throat> Why the fuck are those here? War crimes are fun, you know. Did they just launch a fucking bonsai charge for no actual discernible reason? So did I just pick up MP44 ammo off of a, off of a guy with a fucking this Arasaka? Like, uh, how? What the opening? Oh. Go, go. Why forty four ammunition out of take out that cannon? Why is there a fucking AT gun at an airfield? Holy shit. 
shit, that thing is insane! <clears throat> Why? Is there an AT gun? At a fucking airfield! I mean... <clears throat> I'd be surprised the tanks could make it through that without being destroyed by anything. But there should be anti-aircraft guns! Oh fucker. There's any fucking aircraft though. <clears throat> Despite the fact this is overlooking a fucking airfield. I also doubt that would actually do anything. Yeah, that wouldn't have fucking done that. That's not how this works. Uh, bullshit, um, rocket launcher, apparently. Browning automatic rifle, I like that. Hey, uh, no, it still says M1928. This is an M1A1! Fucking Thompson! It is not that hard to comprehend. It is not that fucking hard to comprehend, guys. Of course. Here come my boys. When they finish the job, check out the hangar. Near the radio tower. So there's a fucking cannon shots coming towards us right now. Do you even know how to land that? Does that ever stop me? Let's go! Regroup with the tanks! So what the fuck is up with this name? Push down the hill! Pick up the fucking machine that they give air 1942. God, Jesus fuck, what is up with this? Literally unusable. So that is realistic fire rate. Still yet to see a fucking anti-aircraft gun, but hey, what the hell not? Why not? Vado Curtis can do it, so can they. Not the real fucking name. Two. There shouldn't be a fucking Luger here. <clears throat> Are you really? Anyway, I have things to say about this tank, but I want to get down to the tank battle first.
Right, right here. <clears throat> there is no fucking way a Japanese tank can bounce any kind of anti-armor shell. Especially from the 76mm gun, which can kill a tiger from 100 meters. <clears throat> Two. These shouldn't have fucking 76mm guns yet. Those shouldn't be here yet. They will arrive in the Pacific while well, afterwards, but shouldn't be here yet. After all, the the 76mm gun was defended by the British to kill the heavy German, the heavier German tanks. Not by the Americans to fight the Japanese tanks, because the Japanese tanks can be killed by fucking everything. Because Japan didn't know what a fucking tank was and didn't and didn't build them properly. This is an epic fucking music play. Is this what? Does this game want you to go die for something as useless as the American army? Also, is this naval operations at a fucking airbase? What the hell is going on here? So we are not, I am not throwing these grenades correctly at all. So every nation built their grenades just that bit differently. <clears throat> the Germans obviously had the Stier Handgranate, which has, you know, the twist at the bottom, which, you know, is fucking known for. The Japanese came up with something a little interesting. <clears throat> He pulled the pin on the grenade, but that wasn't the end of it. Uh, there's this little piece at the top, um, which you can see here, that little thing at the top. You push that down, then it's actually live. You, you, it's not like, oh yeah, I pulled the pin and some lever flies up like this game fucking implies. No, that's not how this, that's not how that works. Like, what the fuck is this thing? Like, this obviously isn't an MG-34, but its barrel implies that it's not an MG-42 fucking either. I think this- I actually think this is an MG-42. Also, why did that plane not shoot this plane? Like... The fuck just happened?
What the fuck? Won't be needing this anymore. Show us what you can do, Lieutenant. All right. Let's see. How are we fucking talking? <clears throat> Is it now there's fucking 75 millimeter Shermans? What the fuck they added the uh, 76 millimeters? And now the Japanese have the correct fucking machine gun. Also, why did I get him a garrison cap? He, like, they should be wearing helmets, not garrison caps. One, that wouldn't have done anything with any real damage. Two, he would have been shot down on his fucking way there. The men of the 93rd changed Wade. Like he would have never been in there, he would have been shut the fuck down. What war looked like in the dirt. Down there, he learned the only way to win was to have each other's backs. If you get past this talk and you see his actions, you will know who Wade Jackson really is. The most bullshitty fucking things I've ever fucking seen. All of that makes no fucking sense. None don't of it. What he did before. Wade abandoned us in Hamburg. I still don't trust him. I get it. But we're not in this shithole because of him. We're in this shithole because some sodding krauts think they can crack the best team I've ever worked with. Despite the fact that this team yeah. shouldn't fucking exist. We need a plan to get us out of here. We're surrounded by Nazis. Even if we escape, we're gonna be dead before we reach the door. Maybe not. idea. We were going to put on a show for Richter. It was a gamble, but we'd come too far to give up on getting those files. Polina being next gave us time to get ready. We knew she'd hold her own. <coughs> nice to see you again, Fallen. Please. Where's the fucking Reich markings on his fucking tunic? This is exactly what I imagined your weird little office would look like. Oh. Tell me what your team is planning. Lady Nightingale. that arrested the Nazis' eastern expansion. Had the city fallen, Russia would have crumbled. I wouldn't say that, considering Moscow still Germany fucking was held on to. underestimated Russia's will to survive. They underestimated the city and her defenders. Like, Stalingrad wouldn't have crippled Russia. Would it have hurt? Hell yeah, but would it have actually crippled them? She didn't want to be no! Because the rail lines were centered around Moscow, not fucking Stalingrad. Russia still would have held on for a very long amount of time, costing the Nazis more man, equipment, and material they could not afford. But, you know, still. The arrogance of the Third Reich was to think they could achieve what the great Napoleon could not. No, they didn't. Did you just see that guy move forward with a fucking MG42? There's no fucking way he could just stop! Put a hole off a quick burst and start fucking running again. Is that possible with a machine to get better in 1942? Makes sense. It's never far from the slaughter. Let's go. We should see who we are speaking of the friends. Short! That's a sniper shot. Precise. You think they might be? Okay. There's more cover this way. 
Then why the fuck aren't we dead yet? Hey, also. So how will you kill Steiner, Lady Nightingale? I told you to stop calling me. Why do I have steel hands, Gennetas? Followers of Lady Nightingale. Anyone who gives asylum to the estate of this <laughs> Fucking terrorist, really? This ain't fucking Wolfenstein. Killing Nazis is, this is exactly a crime. Plus, considering we just came from a goddamn factory, we should still be on the front. We should be more careful. Alina, do you hear that? Yeah, I like to sing more. Papa Shaw is one of my favorite fucking weapons of all time, but. The SVT I also like quite a bit. I just find them some of the best weapons ever made and really cool. Why is he in an armored car? Like, why the fuck is he in an armored car and not a Type 82 Volkswagen? Misha, be careful! Get down! What do we do? Try drawing fire with my knife! Do what? Just trust me! Drawing fire! Ow! Fucker. By the way, that never would have fucking worked. Ready to shoot! I've got your Nice little Nancy the Banner box. over there, apparently. How did I just pick up two different times types of fucking ammunition? This isn't like Call of Duty World War II where you loaded a full fucking stripper clip post. I oh, have a scope attached to this rifle. What's a rifle? Alright, I think that's where we're gonna stop this.